Hey guys, the boss here, and today we'll be talking about Red Dead Redemption on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. RDR first came out in 2010, and it was released on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Due to lack of backwards compatibility, RDR was unplayable on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, but uh, Rockstar decided to change that. But it all started with rumors of a remake, and it got fans like me excited that uh, Rockstar Games would be releasing a remake of Red Dead Redemption 1 that will be at least on par with RDR 2. But Rockstar Games seems to be working on the mantra of why fix something that is not broken. Or well, let's say they are working on the mantra of doing the bare minimum effort. Because that's exactly what this game feels like. They have made absolutely no improvements to the game. This game was phenomenal back on PlayStation 3. And it was playable on Xbox consoles via backwards compatibility. It's a funny thing that uh, the game was listed below $10 on Microsoft Store not too long ago. And now Rockstar Games want you to pay $50 or 3700 rupees for the PlayStation 4 version of the game. There is no official PlayStation 5 version of the game. I'm playing this on the PlayStation 5, but that's the PS4 version via backwards compatibility. Now coming on to performance. Well, there's a good sign in terms of performance because there are no technical glitches. I have not encountered any key breaking glitches. I've just seen some funny glitches in there as you can see in the video right now, but uh, nothing game breaking at all. They have pumped up the resolution from PlayStation 3 version. The game runs at a native 1080p resolution for the base PS4. For the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 versions of the game, you get a native 4K resolution. And it looks very good. It does not look like a 13 year old game. The game looks phenomenal even in 2023. Now coming on to performance, the frame rate I mean. It's a cap 30 experience. I know it's a bummer. They should have at least made an attempt to get it to 60. But Rockstar Games, as I mentioned, they are doing the bare minimum. So they have just kept it on 30. The game tries to maintain a stable 30 FPS and it does maintain a 30 FPS frame rate all across the game. It's a perfect 30 experience. It's not too bad, but I expect more when they're asking $50 for a game in 2023. When it comes to the game, I'm absolutely a fan of this title. RDR1 is one of my most favorite games of all time. It's an open world action adventure game set in Western America where you follow an outlaw known as John Marston. And I know there are many people who have only played RDR2 and I think it's a must play for them. But do I recommend them to purchase this game right now? Well, that's a tough question. I'll give you my take on it. If you are someone like me who has played this game on Xbox consoles or back on PlayStation 3, then I don't see any reason for you guys to pay $50 or 3700 rupees to purchase this game again, or at least on the PlayStation 4. For Nintendo Switch users, that's a different story. If you are someone who has never played RDR1, then you might think that uh, it's a good game and I'm speaking, I've been praising this all along and maybe you guys should purchase this right off the bat. To them, I'll say that you guys have waited for 13 years now. Then I would say that you need to wait a little longer. Just wait a little longer guys. Just be more patient. Just wait till this game goes on to sale. This is not worth it. This is not worth it at $50. This game is phenomenal. It is one of the best games of all time. And I'm glad that Rockstar Games have released it on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. But at $50, this is nothing more than a cash grab. They have not made any effort to improve this game. Although there is the Undead Nightmare DLC included, but uh, trust me, I have seen RDR1 with Undead Nightmare go for less than $10 on a Microsoft console. And that is exactly the same version of the game that you have here. There are no next gen or current gen improvements. The game was decent, the game is decent in terms of performance, in terms of visuals. And I would say it's a must play, but not at the price 
Rockstar Games wants you to pay for it. That's my take on it. That's my take on the whole situation of Red Dead Redemption or PlayStation 1, PlayStation 5. I still wish they would make a complete remake or remaster of this game. Maybe add a patch to it. But uh, considering what Rockstar Games have been doing lately with the uh, many GTA 5 releases and the definitive edition of uh, the GTA trilogy that they released, I am not very hopeful that they will do anything to improve upon this. So those are my views. Please let me know if you disagree with me. Please let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if you have bought this on your PlayStation 4 consoles or playing it on PlayStation 5. Let me know how your experience is. What do you think about the game? And please make sure you, you leave a like. You drop in the comment. And please subscribe if you like my content. And that's it for the video guys. Peace out. Like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Oh, I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? The closest doctor is in Armadillo. John Morston! Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me! How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Pollard twins! Walton's gang! I know who you are! Please! There's no time to lose! We must hurry! Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. Ah! Oh.